Okay, so here we are guys. We're at our next showing. This one's uh, the one at 201 uh, Onyx Lane. This is the Fannie Mae foreclosure. This is the one that's in Emerald Point. We're looking at this one today because it's um, it's a great value. Uh, 125,000. Um, it's a ranch style home and it's actually in Emerald Point, which is a very desirable neighborhood in, um, uh, in Nightdale. Uh, and it's also got all the features I think that we're looking for uh, in a home for you guys. So I always like to walk around a house first. As you can see, this one's kind of interesting because it's not actually in a cul-de-sac, but it actually is on the cul-de-sac. Um, some people might like this, some people might hate it, but um, again, you know, when we walk around it, we can see that it does have a nice, a nice, um, a nice outside. Surprisingly, it's got some pretty decent landscaping, which is always interesting to me when I'm looking at foreclosures. Um, as you can see, somebody, somebody cared about this property. Looks like we got some dogs next door. Okay, so you know, obviously we're we're seeing some some signs of of, of decay out here on the on the deck. Um, so that's that's obviously not good. Uh, and this vine here's overtaking this part of it, which looks like that would be a really good hazard. So that would certainly need to come out. Um, looks like it's overgrown on the trash can here. But uh, somebody built a little fire pit here. That's kind of nice. Now, just so you know, what's on the other side of this fence here is going to be the road that leads into the subdivision. Um, and then there's a house on the other side of that as well. I can see the roof of it over there. I don't think you can see it. Um, and then the backyard does kind of slope up here a little bit. So, just FYI. And it looks like we've got some neighbors next door that probably might be in floor closure soon themselves as well, actually, judging by the condition of the house. A car that hasn't moved in a long time. You can hear the air conditioner running over there. Okay, so I'm seeing something here right, right off the bat that gives me some concern. I'm looking at a gas pack that is obviously very original. Let's see if we can get a date on it here. Uh, it doesn't really give me a date. Ah, I'll bet you it's 1986. Why do I think it's 1986? No, 1991. There it is right there. So, yeah, that's something that obviously needs to be replaced. Somebody's been working on it. Looks like they pulled the pipe, the drain pipe off of it. But, um, see, it's, it's obviously running, but a whole lot of, a whole lot of, a whole lot of loving needs to be done to that. So, let's go on inside, see what it looks like inside. So, a little parquet flooring here as we come in. The air conditioner's working. I mean, I can tell you, it's nice and cool in here. You know, it's set at 73 degrees, and it is 73 degrees, so just FYI. So this is going to be your family room. It's not, you know, it's 1,275 square foot ranch, so I mean, you know, it's, it's not that huge. It's kind of on a funny little angle here. I don't know how you'd position the furniture. I guess you would put your, your couch over here. It looks like your TV there, and I guess everybody has flat panels these days, so it'd go on the wall there. Thank goodness for that. Here's going to be your, your dining area, your eat-in kitchen, and your, obviously the rest of your kitchen. This is actually a very nice, usable kitchen, by the way. I do like, I do like kitchen. Where does this go up to? I'll be darned. Look at that. We'll get to that in just a minute. Didn't see that one coming. So I guess what I'm seeing here, and that makes sense, that's why now I understand. So here's your laundry room. That used to be the door to the garage. And what they've done is they've finished off the garage and built. Oh, wow. I see what they've done. So they built a master suite behind the garage. Yeah. Or did they? Let's see. 
they've obviously done something there because this room here only has access through the kitchen, which is kind of bizarre, but let's take a look and see what they've done. Oh yeah, okay. And you can feel the temperature difference in here and you can, I can see now. Okay, so this house actually doesn't have, I don't see any heating and cooling vents anywhere in here. So there's no heating and cooling in here, which is why it's so much warmer. And right there is your, obviously where they stubbed off the gas line, I guess this was, this was the garage. This was the garage. Yes, it was the garage. It must have been the garage. It must have been a side load garage right here. And this was the this was how you got into the garage. Well, I don't know. It's bizarre. Well, anyway, this is obviously used to be a garage door here because you can see the step down there and there's no step there. And it's actually permanently locked. So we can't, but yeah. Okay, so there's no heating. So this is not even considered in the square footage of the house. Interesting, that could certainly be some type of a family room there if you don't mind walking through the kitchen to get to it. Let's go take a look at the rest of the house. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, yeah, all right. So there's your bathroom, your second bathroom, okay? Yeah. Bedroom number two, and pretty standard in this size house. Your view out the window of this bedroom here. And then bedroom number three. Again, looks like we have about a 10 by 10. Well, it's actually a bit less than that. Both of them are nine and a half by nine and a half. So kind of small bedrooms over here. Looking for a you know, ranch. It's got some bonus room that could be that could be um, finished off. And this is a real value. Your main floor master here. That jumbo closet there. So, yeah, interesting. The only thing that's, you know, that's kind of funny about this house is, is just the, um, is the, um, this, this family room here. So anyway, great value for 125,000. I mean, it's a it's a fabulous value. You could obviously put in those mini splits in here, um, which would be a very inexpensive solution to add yourself a couple of hundred more square feet of livable, livable square footage. Maybe a home office or a craft room or really whatever you decide to do with that would be um, certainly a nice two, 200, 200 square feet more. So we'll see you at the next house, guys. Talk to you soon.